Speedo. Come back. Just got back from the garage. I've had the bearings removed and the tyres taken off of both wheels. Um, it cost me 20 quid to get both tyres removed and all the bearings removed, and it was going to cost me tenner for the parts needed to remove the bearings and a tenner to get the tires removed anyway so less hassle less stress got them to do it for me there's the bearings that taken out that's one i tried to remove myself see quite badly rusted up on the inside there so definitely not worth renewing them but this one here is pretty all right actually i'm gonna keep that i won't reuse it but I'm going to keep that, might find another use for that somewhere else in another project. But the spacers, yeah, they need a good old clean up. So that's going to be going on the old uh, sander. Or what I might do is a bit of wood down in there, power drill, and a bit of wet and dry sandpaper and that, clean all that off. Same with that one, it's not too bad though, that one. Give it a clean so yeah so they're all ready to go to the powder coat as you can see the rims are quite poor on both sides so i'm not sure the this color i think this one probably is gunmetal gray i'm going to go for a similar color probably got another gunmetal gray but hopefully have a bit more fleck and a bit more sparkle in it so get all this cleaned off as well so yeah and this is the front wheel let's see not as bad a condition a few bits of flake in there bit on there but yeah take these off discs might be why I was getting a bit of a wobble on the desk because there was a couple missing and they weren't level. But we'll see, makes the motif, it's back still on there. Good and all clean. So there you go, the wheels. Okay, we have here a pot of uh, swing arm stuff, the drive. drive gear and also the rear drive gear that goes, goes in the bottom there actually now what I'm going to do the white spirit pour it in give everything a clean over here somewhere it's an old brush should have a bucket here somewhere hang on Nowhere really on there, 
actually pretty good. Now it's been leaking oil from here, so I'm assuming it's this seal here that's gone. So, my local Honda guy has one of these in stock. Yeah, look at the spring. The spring's just there, just completely. Completely gone there. It's going to take a bit of work to get that out, I think. Might have to uh, stick this in some hot water afterwards to get that seal off. You can see from earlier on, that really needs a good clean off. Give it a wash first. Be the rear wheel one, which is probably why I couldn't get the rear bearings out because it was very uh, where is it? Mm -hmm. I can't quite tell. is going to be power tool jobby I think inside the wheel no problems now. Most excellent. Okay now we're going to give this a go, a bit of a clean up. Let's put a little bit of rag in there, stop too much dust getting in there, a bit of rag over there and uh, put the bolts back in. Yeah so let's give it a go.
doing that at the moment, so it sounds a bit gritty. What I might do, it all came out clean, so no crud in there. Just gonna flush it through. Put it through there and drain it out. I'm using this as four coil, it's quite good. Behind this goes in there like that. And uh, yet you see that oil still would sit in there like that. Obviously it's gone, so it's leaking the oil from there. That's why I've got oil coming out of it. Petrol can. 